you need to price based on your own individual craft. Because the yeah, because the ones that I see they the system. system. <laughs> I am freezing, freezing. <sighs> Hello. Cold. Uh, how are you guys? Memo to bring a blanket would have been nice. Like a small onion, a heads up. I'm going to go lit. Where do I know him from? Why does it look familiar? He's my brother, man. My brother. No! Even parties at home. That, I'm, I'm, I'm like, why? Why? And I'm like, no man. But I'm going to some sugar. Way. Oh, I'll send. Wow. So all this effort, ne? Yeah, but... <laughs> so, me, it, mentally, I slept with. You need to wake up and wear makeup, uh -huh. mom. So you're so pretty. What are, Don't even ask. <laughs> Luando. 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 Yes. Oh, Luando. Aikosa. Yes. Oh, it's, it's nice to meet you. My name is Mwago. Mwago. Okay. And you? I'm not the biggest celebrity. This one. You don't know her. She doesn't know me though. She doesn't know what? She doesn't know me. But I know her. Why wouldn't you know? Arentis. I know Arentis. She doesn't know me, but I know her. No, I uh, <laughs> now that you say, guys, hey, hi, hi. I made it. <laughs> hey, okay, my girl. So, this is you. Are you good? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today, I finally made it to the classic occasions business in Darba. If you watched the previous videos, you would have seen Andy where I did a profile and she spoke about today's event and what is going to happen. I really just want to also be a student because there are people who are coming who are gonna be talking on things I don't necessarily have like full in-depth um, information or knowledge on so I'm interested in that also um, there's already one lady I've met around test events I didn't know her she knew me so I've already met one person I know they work but I didn't know them personally that's another thing I look forward to um, meeting event planners that I don't know but obviously on the grams and on the, on the social networks we talk sometimes we even comment and like each other's work but we don't see each other because we never post each other but I'm not going to talk too much I will try my best to share as much as I can about today remember I can't show a lot of people's faces because of the puppy act so if you see some shots and I'm cutting people, I'm cropping people, just understand that I just wanted you to hear what they were saying or hear what was happening more than um, keeping their identities private unless the people that do. I will ask some people if they're comfortable and if they're not guys, then I will not shoot them. But yeah, let's see what today has in store for us. Well then, I hope you can another thing. She's just preparing Ilya Maya. Everyone, um, I think for the purposes of sound, we're recording, 
and there's two ladies that are going to join us later. One is in Lusaka, one is in the States. So for their purposes, we'll just continue using the mics. Ne? I think um, also taking it as a side hustle. Um, I want to, I'm here because I want to grow. I also want to get clients that are paying good money, <laughs> not people who say I have 2,000 or 2.5. So I'm looking forward to learning everything that I will take today. Uh, Hi. Hi, my name is Marco Mafoka and I'm from the Movers. And it's been a pleasure <coughs> hearing all your struggles because I came with solutions. Mm. Yes. So by the end of today, we are going to the next level, all of us, and growing, getting paid clients. Mm -hmm. And all, everybody is just <laughs> going up. Thank you. Yes. yes. Firstly, you've got to believe that you, you're, you're going to make money at the end of the bat. And half the time, we don't. You've got to believe that you're going to meet all your customers or your targets at the end of the month. And half the time, you don't. You've got to believe that you can compete with big corporate, but half the time, we can't. Because there's so many odds stacked against you to fail. But we are crazy to believe that we can. And we believe with passion that we actually can. So if you're not crazy, then you're in the wrong industry. <laughs> Go back to corporate. <laughs> Go back to nine to five. Best, thank you very much um, to the founder of Classic Occasions. Um, you guys are doing incredible work um, in the country. Uh, congratulations for putting together this event. It is very important for black people to gather together, uh, more so to the times that we are living in today in the country. It is very important that we do so. Uh, um, you've got to take it, no one's going to give it to you, because we come from that history, that background, where people exploited us as black people. And a little bit of that still remains, even how we do business today as black people, uh, whether it's small business, established business, um, and I have a slight problem with those definitions, but I'll get into just a little bit of that towards, towards the end. Um, so thank you very much again for allowing me to share a few thoughts. Recently resigned from the role um, at the BMF for heading up thought leadership and, and advocacy. So I've been in a reflective mode for the past couple of weeks looking at some of the work that we've been doing, looking at some of the work that um, I, I was privileged to champion within the organization and, and by extension um, the country, because the BMF is, is central to the drive to economic transformation. And when this invite came, um, I was in that reflective moment. Everyone must move into entrepreneurship, right? So, Start, start, start a business, start, 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 start doing your own thing. And um, I understand, personally, I understand why it's, 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 it's happening that way. Um, but I think there's a little bit of a challenge there because not everyone is an entrepreneur. Um, I, I prefer the argument of specialization. Um, and you speak to old stalwarts black, in black business, when you ask them this question, what would you say is more important in their view, entrepreneurship or, or developing a skill? And they would then say, most of them would say, develop a skill. So young people go to school, don't emphasize that and overemphasize that. And I believe, therefore, entrepreneurship is one of those specializations within that space. So the argument of specialization, imagine a doctor saying, you know, I feel like I've reached the ceiling. This person a doctor. I feel like I've reached the ceiling in my medical career, profession. Uh, I want to venture out into to entrepreneurship. 
Imagine if 80% of doctors said that in the country. <clears throat> what would happen to the whole problem? When you are sick, what's going to happen? No, and uh, they are running their own business. I'm not suggesting that it's wrong if uh, a medical practitioner decides to get into business. But my argument is of specialization. So even within the medical space, we don't have enough black anything in the country, by the way. Right? The enough black that we have in the country currently is labor, which is the third factor of production. We are the majority. There is labor. But in terms of specialized skills, you know, or eye specialists, um, etc., and you guys, I believe, are specialists, because not everyone can do what you do. You are event planning specialists. Maybe you should call yourself that. Event planning specialist. Don't, don't laugh. You know, it's, it's true. Yeah. You are specialists in what you do. And the issue came out to say it's not a side hustle, etc. It's because the industry, from a black point of view, is still developing. Mm. And you should be leading it as event planning specialists because that's what you are. Oh, but it is a gorgeous space. <laughs> Come closer. <laughs> Bega, you said you wanted to pee. Where now? But here we are. Selfie here. This is such a beautiful venue, guys. This is Avianto wedding venue. It is bigger than. We are literally at the back end. I know when you have a big wedding, the reception is usually held inside there. I see there's something that's going to happen. There's also a venue that side. Those are also venues. I don't know if you guys can see there, that roof. And this is our venue down here. Totally, totally loving this space. <laughs> Baby girl, I think I'm, I'm one of do you know what's funny? Eh? When you walked in, I was like, this face looks familiar though. But I was like, Londo, everyone looks familiar. I'm one of those first groups. Baby girl, get... suddenly locked down. When <laughs> are you doing them? Perfect. I even had ooh, the N, what that what talk was, and is it NP? Oh yeah. She called you when oh, she was oh, doing. Oh, was it you? <laughs> She was like, hey, Nanda, I'm with your student here. Yeah, after you forgot her. Uh, she won't be like, like, no, she's with me. And no, right now she's in Skype group, so she won't remember. But I'm with you. Someone yesterday okay. was like, you must teach me. I'm like, do you know who's my kids? I went like, do you know <laughs> Guys, and we are yens. That, like, that's the happy part. You must want to I teach, then you all fizzle away. No, the thing for And then you disappear on me. No, yeah, okay, that's the part that, that disappeared. Barak. I know many times I tell people, guys, it's not about where you buy your balloons, it's about where now. What do you do with them? Guys, my student! I'm stuck in you. So that's why you went to NN. Because I was doing something like she told me this bit and why not <laughs> you know and jong she is doing yeah, so such amazing like i'm i'm over the moon those dot thing i remember i was using that like oh my word <laughs> I was a member of I'm very, and then what's the juice side? <laughs> <laughs> Please taste. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. My only student. That's why I'm back. I'm here. I don't know if Zanino not to be a student of mine. Zanino, come with. Jamie, am I not referring to flowers? Am I not referring to flowers? Like, I've been throwing flowers. I've been throwing flowers. 
Yes. And this chocolate is melted, it's stuck on the wrapper, or you can't really eat it one at a time. So you have to figure out a way to eat it. It's not that convenient to actually eat this one. Yes. Right? Also, you can eat some of this and save some of this later. The chances of you eating all of this is higher because yeah. you just want to get it over and done with. Right? So now when you look at insurance, this is you insured, this is you uninsured. What happens is, when you have insurance, you've got a little bit more uh, security. You've got a little bit more planning. You're a little bit more organized. When you don't have insurance, on this side, you inconvenience. If something happens to any of your stock or any of your products or anything like that, this is what you'll be going through. You'll be having a difficult time. Something should happen. Remember, insurance is in the event of something happening. You don't want to go through that and be in this situation where your business can't operate or efficiently because it's melting. Where you want to be in this situation. A firm business, a business that if something goes wrong, you are able to, a piece is broken off, but your business is able to continue because you've got everything else there. So I wanted to make it a simple example because I know you guys would like chocolate. So you're paying very close attention <laughs> to the chocolate, but you can actually see how important it is for insurance by me using this example. Okay, if, uh, the first time I told you that my equipment is like more or less like 100,000, yeah. right? Then of course at a later stage, yeah. I ate. So should I also pick up a phone yeah. and let you know that I tell her Because, I yeah, that's something they don't keep track of. Yes. The only thing that an insurance company can actually keep track of is motor vehicles. Yeah. They don't even keep track of a building because building prices fluctuate the cost of that building. But a vehicle, there's actually a system in place, Amir and McGrath, I think they're still using that, mm -hmm. where they can actually monitor the depreciation of a no, building. Look, yeah, look, if it's like a once-off, yes, yeah. we, the insurance companies do do once-off. But I mean, like, if it's your business, yeah. If it's your business, if it's your business to hire, to hire, just, just hire out, then, then, then you must also like, look. I know, I know a lot, a lot of people that hire out stuff, so they would work in their insurance premium in the premium that they would charge to hire out the, 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 the Tiffany chairs, right? And there is two types of cover. Yeah. The orders cover. Yes. Orders cover actually means anything can happen to the chairs while it's on the bucket. Yeah. Right? Then it's, your, then it's your, just your overturning. In yes. other words, that means only if it's an accident. Yes. So if 12 chairs just fell off, <coughs> right, under that cover, you would not have cover. But if that, that, but if you had an orders cover, then, yes. then that other 12 chairs would have cover. The production and work. When? <laughs> Content creation. So far, what's your experience? Oh man, I've learned so many things that I didn't even think they have anything to, to do with do events, ne? <laughs> yeah, I know there's too much, there's too much, yeah. We learn every day, hey? Okay? That we do. Yeah. The thoughts thus far on today um, or the morning because we still have like a, another, another half day, yeah? Actually, I think um, when we think about events in Don Don, it's always about flower arrangement, uh, balloons in Don Don, you know. And there's actually more to it, like then there's the insurance part of it, the logistics, the admin and everything. I'm enjoying it, like I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it. Best decision ever. Well spent money. Yes, <laughs> yes, take that. Thoughts? How, uh, how are your anxiety levels? From yesterday to today. I didn't even have any anxiety. Yeah. Oh, Togo, Nutili asked me the same thing this morning. Uh -huh. What did I say? You know, I actually thought to text you yesterday. I don't know what happened. <laughs> and then, I don't know, something happened. Yeah, I was excited. Uh, I'm still excited. I mean, it's been an... I'd say information overload, but it's good information. Ne? Very informative. We've learned so much. And it's things that we really needed to know. True. Yeah. True. Talk to us. Your first session, how has it been? 
Yeah. Okay, my first session in Nikili late and I'm sorry. My <laughs> second session. Yeah. Shoo! I never knew what I can be sweet for. <laughs> the color thing. <laughs> tents, tents falling. I don't even have insurance. When the whole numbers are, do you even have insurance for fire thing? Ish. I feel like I'm not taking my things serious. Mm. Like, I don't have insurance. But I need to now, we know. Yeah, like, yeah. like that's what I'm saying. What I feel like, oh, this thing is it's serious. Deep. Like, it's deep. Yeah. Like, business are it's not just mm. side hustle thing. Or bring some extra cash in and mm. like, it's deep. Like, it's... Mm. I must take it serious. Like I must consider. Never, never thought of it. And client falling off a chair. Like I'm thinking, like who? Like now it's responsibility. Now it's like uh I no. Actually, actually, I never thought. Should we do now? What did you do to make sure with the chair was actually in a good condition? Are the screws tied properly? No, <gasps> like, no ML. Like life goes on, but now you can be sweet for that. Exactly. Exactly. Like, I see The boom When you try to do everything, you can't do everything all at once. In. Um, I'm exhausted. Just nice turn legs. Us. Oh, nice. Because today is all about Andile. Share the tips, share your journey, share this. This is what I'm battling with. What am I doing wrong here? How can I get to the next level? I'm in a plateau when it comes to my business. How do I get to the next level? Well, this is what I've been doing, but it hasn't been working for me. What am I doing wrong? So those are the type of questions that we're going to answer today. And the plates are overlapping from the table and your cutlery is not straight. All those things add up to a good tablescape. So I taught my family, my, my now 12 year old, but back then, I think she was seven or eight, she, was, she knew, mommy, it has to be straight. Like, yes, baby, you can be a line. A cutlery, you need to be able to see your face on the, on, on the cutlery, meaning it's clean, clear, shine, there's no water stains, there's no... So, paying attention to all that detail. That has gained me clients. I've had clients come to us because our glasses are in a straight line. I've had clients come to us because of just astroturf, they just love our astroturf. It's thick, it's flat, it has no crease. 
pay attention to detail. That is a quality and skill I learned in banking because we were working, we were working with people's money, so the devil's in the detail. We started attracting the right clients because we had marketing collateral after marketing collateral. The pictures were good, the quality of the setup, the type of equipment we were using. You are able to start showing a client to go and say, hang on a second, I can do this style of setup. I can do boho, I can do this, I can do that. Because you're showing a client different styles and you're not limited to one particular style of thing. Remember, you need to price based on your own individual craft. So it starts by defining what's your DNA as an organization, as Utsidi. What, I, I like to believe when people see, is Thomas say, classic occasions, they will know it's KO, even though I don't use watermarks. But most people will spot my, my work and say, Andy, I saw somebody advertising this and it's your pictures <laughs> and it's on their page. And I just love. But people already know our DNA. So in other words, you would know a Woolies um, product to a Mr. Price product um, by creative team. Uh, we went on an off-site, we were at Mahali's Park for a couple of days uh, in Jan for an off-site strat session, yes. And we defined what are we putting out to market? What are the new things that we are going to be known for in the market? And we're like, okay, disruptors, what do you mean disruptors? And I'm like, in the past, what would be considered a norm? Nowadays, it's like you can bring in something, people look at it and like, wow, I didn't realize you can actually drape it that way, and it still looks amazing. One of the disruptors that we did was last year, and this um, thing, and then we had a lounge that we had placed right in front of the bride. <laughs> you don't even have words. I don't have words. I don't have words. Have words. You don't have words. <laughs> Bye guys, see you tomorrow. Now we TikTok and say good day. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys, we're going home. See you tomorrow. Bye. Did he come out nicely? Yes. Bye.